Hi, good afternoon. I'm Neil Parks, your host for Paranormally Speaking. Doing something a bit different this episode, I'm going to do A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. I will be doing all the voices, playing all the parts. However, I have no budget, no costumes, uh, no set really, no props other than action figures, dolls, and some puppets. So work with me and enjoy this special Christmas treat that I've decided to give to my viewers. And hopefully it will receive a lot of hits and possibly go viral. I'm depending on you, my viewing audience, to make that possible. Thank you and enjoy the show, basically for what it has to offer. Cratchit! Cratchit! Get in here! Oh, oh, yes, yes, Mr. Scrooge. Did you put another lump of coal in the furnace? Um, uh, yes, sir, I'm, I'm very cold. Boy, I don't pay you to keep warm, I pay you to work and crunch numbers. Now get back to it and do not put another lump of coal in that furnace! Y y yes, sir, Ms Mr. Scrooge, very sorry. Mr. Scrooge, Merry Christmas! Bah humbug! Hello, Mr. Scrooge. We're here today to hopefully receive some donations from you for the uh, Children's Help Fund. Children's Help Fund? What help do they need? Well, sir, as you're aware, there are so many people in need during this time of the year. Oh, well, let them be in need. But, sir, they're, they're poor, they're destitute. They could possibly perish. Well, let them perish and control the surplus population, I always say. Oh, Mr. Scrooge, that's horrible. Speaking such heresy during this time of the year. Get out of my office! Very well, Mr. Scrooge. Your greed will consume you someday. Ah. Who is it now? Uncle Scrooge! Oh, nephew. Yes, I'm here to invite you to my dinner party. Your dinner party? Yes, yes. For my wife and me, and me, uh, my kids and my friends. Oh, your wife, she's not of money. So, sir, I've married her for love. Bah! There's no love! How can you be so callous, Uncle Scrooge? Well, nonetheless, you're still invited to my dinner party. We'll be playing Twister. <laughs> Get out of my office! Very well, Uncle Scrooge. Merry Christmas. I love you. Ah, oh, bah. All this Christmas jumbo. Ah, oh. Cratch it! The day is done. You may go home now. Thank you, Mr. Scrooge! Ah! Christmas, ah, Christmas. Who ever thought of such a... precocious holiday? Ugh. I can't wait to go home. Get to my nice warm bed and have some gruel. Ah, these carolers, these children playing with snowballs. Such heresy, such heretics! Don't they know there's money to be made? Closing on Christmas, ah. I can make so much money on Christmas Day. Ah, uh, such high stairs in my apartment. I need to put some kind of a wheelchair lift in here. Oh, that's right, they've not been invented yet! Bah! Oh, here we go. All right, I'm in my chambers. Kind of looks the same as my office. Anyway, work with me. All right, I'm sitting here having some gruel. It's kind of imaginary gruel, since I do not have a plate, nor a gruel, nor a spoon to eat gruel! Oh, I'm getting very tired. Ooh, what, what is that? Ebenezer Scrooge! Ah! I, I hear voices. It must be a, a bit of bad beef or some, some rough parsley bash. Ebenezer Scrooge! Oh my god! What are you? I'm Jacob Marley. I've come here to warn you. Warn me of what? There will be three spirits visiting you on this night to hopefully change your ways. Why do you carry a staff with a ram's score on it? Don't pay attention to the props. I'm here to warn you. There's still time for you. You can change. You could possibly not be like me. But you're so muscular. Yes, but I have a skull face. Nonetheless, you're very muscular. Yes, I'm well aware of that, Ebenezer Scrooge, but that's not the point. You need to change your ways or suffer eternal damnation in hell. Ah, oh, bah, humbug. Must be some bad beef. Three ghosts at the stroke of midnight. Ah, well, 
good night to you, Jacob. Ah, well, time to go to sleep, I suppose. I'm very, very tired. This wheelchair really sucks. No lumbar support. What? What is that? What is that? Oh, I'm the ghost of Christmas past. Dear God, you're humongous. Yes, I am very tall, but I'm all that there was available in the female form. Oh, what, what are you here for? To show you what you had in the past. Now take my hand and whisk away with me. Oh, so we're going to stand off to the side and watch this? Yes, Ebenezer. As you'll see, you were once a very happy young man. And you had a girlfriend. Oh, wonderful. What was her name again? I believe it was Mariana Ginger. Oh, terrific. Well, uh, what happened between us? You were filled with greed and malice, and she loved you. Oh, Scrooge, I love you so much. Ah, uh, who needs love? I've got money, baby. Money can't buy happiness. Yes, but you can buy a summer home in Jamaica. What is Jamaica? I don't know. It's somewhere in the Caribbean. Nonetheless, Scrooge, I want to have a family. I don't want children. Children are dirty, vile creatures, and they'll eat all your food. And then they won't talk to you when they're 16. Nonetheless, Scrooge, I love you and want to start a family. Well, start a family with yourself. You could always adopt, you know. Oh, Ebenezer, I can't stand to be with you anymore. I'll find love. You'll find love, and I'll find money. Ah, bah. Who needs her? You see, Ebenezer, you were always full of greed and money, wanting money. But at one time, you had true love. Oh, spirit. Please take me from this place, this horrible, horrible place. I no longer want to be reminded of this. Very well. We'll go back to your rickety apartment. Oh, oh spirit. Oh. oh, gosh. How did I get back here? Why am I setting up right again? Ebenezer Scrooge. What? What is that? Oh, dear God, you're a golden man. I am the ghost of Christmas present. Oh, my God. God, how many are there of you? Uh, at least 1,842 brothers I've had in the past. Hmm, that would be, well, yeah, 1,842 years. Uh, the year is 1842, that works. You've lost your accent. Yes, I need to work on that. Nonetheless, you look a lot like Patrick Stewart, who played Ebenezer Scrooge in one of the Charles Dickens classics remakes. Yes, I've, I've heard that a lot. Nonetheless, Ebenezer, I'm here to take you to the present to see what is going on right now. So what's going on right now? Your nephew invited you to that dinner party. Quickly, let's go see what's going on. We can stand in the background and watch. Oh, my Uncle Scrooge, he's such a money whore. How could he say that about me? He's my nephew. Yes, but you loved his mother dearly. Ah, uh, that I did. He looks so much like his mother. My wife is so hot. Oh, what a pompous, arrogant jerk. Oh, if Uncle Scrooge were here right now, oh, he'd be like, oh, your wife is so hot. See, Ebenezer, even your nephew has given up on you. But he was here in my office earlier today. Yes, I know, but sometimes when the sheep turn from the shepherd enough, the sheep go on away from the flock. Oh, Ebenezer Scrooge, Uncle Scrooge, if only your soul were still intact. You're going to be having turkey and dumplings with us. Turkey and dumplings? They're having turkey and dumplings? Why did I pass that up? Because, Ebenezer, you're full of greed and hate and malice. And you must change your ways before suffering the eternal damnation of hell. Oh, I hope my Uncle Scrooge changes his ways before dying and going to hell. Oh, 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 the present is floating away. Oh, Ebenezer Scrooge, how disgusting you are. You're all alone in this world. And... No one to call your own because you've decided to put your love and stock and money in material things. Oh, Father. Oh, my God, who is this giant boy? That, my sir, is Tiny Tim. Oh, oh, I'm, I've got this, this crutch. Oh, oh, Father, do we have a turkey or do we have goose this year? Son, we're going to have a big turkey. Oh, you mean like a game hen size? No, son. A really big turkey, much like you, my giant son. Oh, Father, I love you. God bless us, everyone. Will my leg ever get better? I don't know, son. Modern medicine has not been invented yet. Nor is there polio vaccination. 
Oh god, I have polio? What's polio? I don't know, son. Oh, spirit, take me away from this horrible place. I wish no longer to see any of this. Very well, Ebenezer Scrooge. I curse thee. You will face the eternal flames. I have given you a chance, and I have warned you, and you do not heed my warning. Farewell, Ebenezer. Farewell. Oh, such, such weird, weird ghosts. I don't know what to do about it. I've done everything I can to think of. Oh, nonetheless, I've not learned my lesson, I suppose. So there's one more ghost coming. Hmm. What if that might be? Was that Godzilla? Oh my goodness, it's a giant Grim Reaper! Oh, I'm the ghost of Christmas future. I'm here to show you what your future will be. What is my future, spirit? You will die and go to hell. If what? If you do not change your ways. And you will look like your dearly departed friend Jacob Marley. Skull face with muscles. And no chicks to dig you. Oh, that's dreadfully horrible. Now, I would love to get out of this wheelchair. If I change my ways, will I be able to get out of this wheelchair? There's a possibility, yes. You could be healed and your spine could be corrected and straightened. Oh, that's terrific, spirit. Well, count me in. I am sorry for all the things I've done wrong. There's always room for change and a chance to change, Ebenezer Scrooge. This is your final warning. Now here I'm going to make you think you're going to die and go to hell. Oh my god, flames! Ah! I can change, I can change, I can change! Oh, oh, god. What, is, is it morning? What, what day is this, have you? What day is this? Ah, oh, I, I, I must wake up. You boy! I'm looking out my window. You boy! What day is this? Why, uh, sir, it's Christmas morning. Oh, very well, wonderful. Well, Merry Christmas to you. Um, I I'll tell you what, I, I need you to come up here. I've got five shillings. I need you to go get the biggest, fattest turkey you can find. The biggest, fattest turkey? Yes, sir, and I'm not referring to any one in our monarchy. Oh, wonderful, sir. Uh, well, most turkeys are only two shillings. That's right, you can keep three shillings for yourself as a tip. A tip, yes. 30 minutes or less, you get a tip. Oh, wonderful, sir. I'll be right back. And don't dawdle. Oh, this is wonderful. I can't wait. Can't wait to open presents and drink eggnog and oh, I, oh God, oh. I can walk. It's a miracle. I can walk. Oh, saints be praised. Oh, oh, this is so wonderful. And Tiny Tim can walk and, and, what, I, 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 God bless us, everyone. Oh my God, I can hear him saying, God bless us, everyone. And I don't hear the stumpity stump thump of a cane. Wonderful. Well, I must go out now. Go out and see my nephew, and go see Bob Cratchit and his family, and have a big turkey, and then drink eggnog, and dance around all silly. Maybe we'll even show up to work late tomorrow. And I think I'll even increase Cratchit's salary. Oh, he'll love that. He'll be able to send his kids to boarding school or college. Or maybe somewhere into the Americas. Oh, wonderful. Oh, land of opportunity. All right. Merry Christmas. God bless us, everyone. Oh. Oh.